Oh, what is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forster, and we are back with another episode of Scrutinized. Oh, no threats, seven nights total for those who just want to solve cases. Oh, I guess they added in a new uh, mode here. We're still going to keep going on normal, but that's good to know that they've changed up the... Uh, the developers are constantly updating the game, I think, at this point, just to make sure everything is kind of set up correctly and that it's fair for people to play. I know Welcome to the Game series had a few updates throughout its initial re uh, release as well, I but... I get to my computer and get the night started. But man, I have been not doing good on this game. <laughs> I mean, I did not too bad on the last episode. Um, I had just, what was it? Two nights that I got through almost to three. Um, so let's go ahead and, as usual, lock up all of the windows. Make sure everything is nice and tidy in this house. No spooks, no scares this time around. We are gonna be fine. We're not gonna be spooked, we're not gonna be scared. No spooks, no scares. <laughs> um, even though this game is frightening every single time I play it. Okay, I'm gonna open this door preemptively as well. I think the main thing, and I've gotten some good tips from people around and I can't do anything with this door I'm realizing that's fine too that's quite all right all right let's get these all locked up let's get to the computer let's start this case file <clears throat> okay uh yeah let's just pull up all these things first get it up and running uh, I think I've learned that the second you hear anything is when you just need to get up I think the owl, at least from what I can tell, is directly related to the guy outside. So you need to check the cameras when you hear the owl, because that means someone's snooping around outside and the owl's probably been disturbed. When you hear anything at the window, I think I read that you can actually shine your flashlight on the kidnapper to try to stop him. Um, but let's, let's just jump into this. Sara Lee, June 12th. 4.51 p.m. Female unknown. Okay, there's a lot of unknowns here. So age is unknown. Height and weight is unknown. Gender is female. Hair brown. Eyes also brown. We know the name though, Sarah Lee. So this should be nice and easy to just find her. Sarah Lee, done and done. Close this out. I've had a, a few, I've had a new neighbor. <laughs> for about a month now and she seems friendly but something's not quite right i keep misplacing tools which i thought i locked in the tool shed later i see her out in her yard with what looks like my tree trimmers i saw her using them on the shrubs in her yard my neighbor across the street had a similar instance of misplacing an object all of this craziness started when she moved in hmm okay sarah lee let's see what you have here on the web any social media talking about your new <laughs> materials uh, okay, let's see. Let's go from the beginning. Another friend of mine is getting married. I'm happy for her. Hopefully there's someone someone out there for me. I'll just have to keep looking. What happened was terrible, and I just can't seem to get my mind off it. Lost one of my close childhood friends recently. It's so sad. I'm going to miss you, Eliana. I've been thinking of moving. I usually like to move around a lot, but it seems... Uh, it, but it's seen quite a few years since I last moved. I think I'll be going out of state this time. It could be a nice change of pace, I hope. Uh, the dress for my client is complete. I have an eye for buy one get one free deals no matter where i happen to go i keep finding great bargains i don't know how i do it lol i'm still relying on my neighbors it seems like every week i ask to borrow something else from one of them they are too kind to me they're the sweetest oh so it sounds like she is in need of things and she has been asking around getting these we do have a police report though sarah lee vindy's mini mart on creekside avenue at about 23, 14 hours on the 7th of September, 2007, I met with Mr. Jacob Atkins at Vindy's Mini Mart on Creekside Avenue regarding theft of store merchandise. Mr. Atkins was working his shift at the store cashier when a young woman came into the store, who proceeded to browse the store for several minutes before paying for gas for her car. Mr. Atkins described the woman, uh, woman's car as a 1997 Actiac Revo. Mr. Atkins claims he saw the woman stealing store merchandise, slipping several several items into her purse. Mr. Atkins confronted the woman about the store items in her purse. The woman denied Mr. Atkins' accusations, stating all items in her purse were inside her purse before entering the store. The woman put money on the counter for only the gas in front of Mr. Atkins and then left the store. It is then when Mr. Atkins called the police. Store surveillance cameras were very old and faulty and were not able to capture good footage of the woman in question. Mr. Atkins described the woman to have brown hair, 
so on and so forth. So there's a possibility that maybe she's a klepto. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Let's check the debit card. Home supply, rat poison, great. Uh, and gas, so that's where the incident happened. No, no, that's a different one. Okay, let's check her SIM card. See if there's anything of use here. I doubt it though. I don't think we're gonna find much on Sarah Lee, but we'll find out shortly. Done. It's too easy. All right, uh, search history. Replacement sewing machine parts, wedding dress design. How do I get childhood friend to develop romantic feelings for me? How do I get rid of your worst tendencies? Pop music playlist, things to do for your new house, best fabrics, how to treat wood, how to fit it in when you move out of state, how to cope when someone steals the love of your life. Time to release poison. What is ricin? Can you manufacture your own ricin? Does ricin have noticeable taste? How many days after ingesting ricin does your organs fail? Is she a killer? Wait, what? <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one. <laughs> she seems pretty sketch. Uh, pictures, okay, sewing, element table, and wedding shoes, okay, text combos, Ray, I just can't believe it's here, she was fine a week before the wedding, so this is, this is about a week before, uh, before the wedding, then her health started to deteriorate rapidly, we were to be married, we, uh, were to be married about two months ago, this was the second time I was to be married, I don't know if I even want to try anymore. I don't know what to make of it either, Ray. Lena was one of my best friends since childhood. It makes me so sad. And you'll find love again. The universe works in mysterious ways. If there's anything you ever need, no matter the time of day, feel free to ask. I mean it. Thanks, Sarah. Blah, blah, blah. Sure, I'm glad I can do that. Is she poisoning people? Hey, Mary, this is Sarah Lee. You gave me your number. Sorry to bother, but it's is all right if I borrow your tree trimmers. I noticed your husband used them on occasion. I'd like to do some light yard work this weekend. Don't quite have everything I need. Certainly. Okay. So she's fine with that. I'm gonna, yeah, I can't really put that over there. I'm gonna bring that out, bring this one in. Miss Benson. Sarah, I hope you're settling into your new home, okay? I know moving can be quite di stressful sometimes, especially coming from out of state. If you need anything, let me know. Well, everyone's quite nice to me. It's really refreshing, so glad I moved. By the way, thanks for letting me borrow your leaf blower. Okay, I'm just gonna put this one in here as well. I wanna see if maybe there's some weird murder thing. Hello, my lovely maid of honor. I know I promised you we'd hang out, and guess what? My things fell through today and I'm free. How about that cup of coffee? Yes, I'm so down. Just let me run home real quick and I'll be on my way. All right, perfect. Meet me at the coffee shop near our old high school in say like an hour. I'll be there. Hey, I came down with something. Are you sick too? No, why? You don't think I got you sick, do you? No, no, no. I thought maybe the coffee shop had some old milk or something. The place isn't as clean as I remember. Oh, she poisoned this guy too. <clears throat> oh, what the heck? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely something going on with that. I'm gonna shred this one because it doesn't seem like any report actually needs to be made. Seems this right? No, I got it wrong. Was I supposed to let things know that she was a killer? Okay. Also, I, I need to check the lights. Uh oh. This game is so eerie. It's so quiet. <clears throat> Unless you're actively like looking around and making sure that everything's normal, it is very eerie. <laughs> I mean, sorry, if you're not looking around making sure everything's okay, like you think everything is just gonna be easy and you feel like you're just playing this game here but it's just so, it's just so weird. It's so hard to describe. Like playing this game is just, <laughs> it's frightening. Gray, eye color is blue. Everything else is unknown. Let's find Travis Gray. Travis Gray, there you are. Boom. Let's close this up. Travis Gray is my science teacher. Yesterday after school, he asked me to help lift some boxes of books from the office wing. So I went. We arrive at his desk and I start lifting his stuff, which was pretty heavy. Halfway through it, I came back to see him hopping toward the nurse's office on one leg. I assume he twisted his ankle or something. I went in, got on with the lifting, and noticed his phone on the desk. I'm not one for snooping around, but it continuously buzzed. So I looked at the screen and it showed messages from his wife. There was stuff like, I'm sorry, please forgive me. And our daughter wouldn't forgive you either if she knew about this. I got pretty concerned, but I didn't want to risk him coming back to his phone going off with suspicious messages while I was next to it. So I went on another run. 
When I came back, he had an ice pack to his ankle and he was texting who I presume was his wife. He looked visibly angry and told me I did enough for the day and let me go. Weird. Okay, I'm going to look up Travis Gray. Anything on his socials? Nothing. I have a feeling I need to look at his phone most of all. So let's pull this up. Can't believe I missed that first. <laughs> the first suspicious person report, but it's okay. All right. Crack it. I'm assuming the picture. Single mothers in my area. How to start online homework easily. Homework auto marker. Manipulating wife into shutting up. Discipline your wife. Stupid wives. How to hit without bruises. This guy is a domestic abuse person. Not good. Not good. Oh, that's a swollen foot. Interesting. Science! <laughs> Computer disconnected. Okay, let's go turn the computer back on. Nothing, nothing weird here. Nothing scary. Nothing spooky. Okay, let's close this up. Let's go and hit this. No extreme noises so far. Very grateful for that. Okay. Hello? Anybody in my house? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, let's. Uh, pictures were interesting. Text conversations. Wife. I'll be back soon. Think about what you did, Linda. Please unlock the door. Hello? Okay. Please unlock the door. I'm feeling really sick right now. Not letting you out until you properly realize your mistakes. Please unlock the darn door. I'm actually going to pass out. My head hurts so bad. I'm sorry, Travis. Please forgive me. Our daughter wouldn't forgive you either if she knew about this. You weren't good to me. Please let me go. How many effing times do I have to tell you, dumb bee? Stop effing texting me. A kid may have seen the messages. Do you know what the F you've done? I'm going to teach you another lesson on shutting the F up when I get home. If you touch me, I swear, God, I'll call the police. Do it. See where that gets you. All right. There's definite abuse happening in this household. Joel Father. Hello. While I realize there are many valid reasons for a lack of participation, I am writing to inform you that your son has not been present to any online classes. Please let me know if there's anything I can do on my end to help. Hello. Just checking if you got my last message. Okay. Um, I'm going to see if there's any other... I'm going to put this one in here. I'm going to see if this works for speed. It did. Okay, cool. Let's close that one up. Pull up a new report. Let's get out of this. Check the lights. See if everything's okay. Windows are down. Windows are down. Just gonna open these up real quick. Oh, it gives me stress every time I open these. Just making sure all the lights are still on. Wonderful. 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 I haven't heard any of them yet. That's kind of worrying. I'm going to check the cameras. Oh! oh! Why does he always do that to me? Okay. Oh, man. Okay, so he's here. Great. Let's keep going. Preston Carter. Male. Black hair. Green eyes. Age 15 to 20. Cameras. Oh, does that mean he's in the house? Where are you? Where are you, weirdo? I'm going to check the doors. I'm going to check the doors. We're fine. There's light on. Window. Window. Don't be behind this wall. Don't be behind this wall. I think we're good. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I don't know what the owl means. Still. I'm a bit confused. Um, black and green. Let's search this. 
Preston Carter. There he is. Super easy. That is not a... Oh, he's 18. <laughs> I thought it said 15 for some reason. Uh, oh, it was 15 to 20. That makes more sense. The boy next door has been behaving strangely for quite some time now. Yesterday I was going... I saw him going into the woods with his father's rifle. I don't know if it's me, but at his age, I went to parties with friends for fun. I didn't do any weird crap in the woods for kicks. I know he's having trouble in school, and I'm worried he's one loose screw away from doing something awful. That's a little, uh, that's a little worrying. Let's check out Preston Carter. See if he's got any weird social stuff going on. He's got to have an account as a young person. No. Hmm. So he is weird. <laughs> JK, you can be young and not have social media. No police records. Debit card? Does he have a debit card? He does. Darget. Uh, bottles of water. Okay. Four leaf clover cigarettes and a box of matches. I'm sure it's legal in his city and or state at the age of 18. Let's check his phone. There's no scoop on him yet. Got it. Cracked it. All right. Search history. School shootings, I want to die, what does it feel like to kill someone, angry music, how to use a rifle, gun stores. This guy is troubled. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, text convos. Let's check out Sarah. Hey Preston, you okay? You weren't even in school today. I was feeling a little lonely during geography. F school, I'm not going back there. I'm not going to be treated like this anymore. Calm down, Preston. I see what you mean, but I'm here for you. Is it because of what Brian said? I hate Brian. He's the reason Hayden left already. And they didn't effing learn. I guess it's my turn now. I feel incredibly bad for you about Hayden changing schools. I mean, you guys were close. Are you serious? We weren't close. We were just friends. Just normal friends like you and me. That's the only reason he left. I can't believe you actually believe that crap. Preston, please don't be like this. You know what I mean? I miss him too. He was a good friend to both of us. And in the end, what happened back there, it's up to you. Uh, so this is the 11th. I heard a window open. Oh, I'm not even done with the first day. What is going on? Am I this bad at this game? <sighs> you know, why not check the bathroom first? That's all good. Uh oh. Uh oh. <gasps> oh! Oh! I saw him! Oh, I saw him! I saw him! Oh, he was trying to break in. He was trying to break in. Oh, 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 I'm so glad I checked. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> He's trying to break in and kill me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it was so faint, but I saw him move. Uh, there was never anything. Uh, it's a rumor by Brian and his effing friends that was just another reason to F us up. That's all. That, and that, the fact that you don't think so, think that says a lot. You're in a rage. Maybe you should lie down and take a rest, but I'm sure things will be better tomorrow. Okay, what about Hayden? Hey, bro, what's what's the new school like? My school is totally empty without you. Take care of yourself. Something wrong, Hayden? Why won't you answer me? Is everything okay? Preston lies. You've been a really good buddy to me. The best, actually. Thanks for being with me the last couple years, but I think it's time to start something new. Does that mean you don't want to be friends with me anymore? It's not that I don't like you, but I don't want to be caught up in it again. I got off to a good start at the new school, and I've made some friends. I'm even... Uh, almost dating a girl. I, I'm i afraid that if we keep in touch, the boys will ruin it for me. So that's how it is. Good luck in your new life then, Hayden. Good to know I can always count on you. You know what? You're the worst a-hole I've ever come in contact with. I hate you, Hayden. I thought you were my only real friend, and yet you're just a C-word like all the other idiots. I hope you die, Hayden. I hate you. What the hell's wrong with you? Leave me alone. Everything that is going to happen will be your fault. I hate you. Yeah, this guy's got some serious issues. Hmm... I'm gonna check the cameras, by the way. Okay, they seem to be fine. Call him loser, calling him gay. Maybe you're right, you're not a loser. You dishonorable little worm. You'll be sorry for this all someday. Okay, I'm gonna bring this one in here. And then I'm also gonna use his search history. I'm going to put this one in here. Close this up. Let's report it. There's got to be something with that. Great. Okay, two out of two. One more and we automatically go to sleep. I'm going to check my surroundings. Make sure everything's okay. Is this still locked? It is still locked. Is this one locked? This one's still locked. I wish I could run. I wish I could just 
sprint around my little house <laughs> and make sure everything's a-okay. Just want to take a good look at these. Make sure we're doing all right. Make sure we're a-okay. Okay, okay. I'm scared. I am scared. Not again. I'm watching. I'm waiting. Okay, this this room is especially bad. Okay, we're fine. We are fine. Ba bum bum bum. Nobody's outside. Nobody's outside. New report. I need one more report to go to bed immediately. Unknown. I know this guy from a forum. Okay, let's let's just punch all these in. Male. Let's just start age. 30 to 40. 30 to 40. Height is six foot exactly, apparently. It's probably gonna differ. Weight is 195. So let's do 175 to 200. Male and brown and blue. Wait, hair color? Yeah, brown. And eye color is blue. Search him up, see who we get. I know this guy from a forum. He goes by Trailblazer online. Trailblazer, first one. This is stressful. <laughs> I'm gonna look around me real quick. Make sure the lights are still on. Okay, we're doing well. We are doing well. And I know I mentioned in a previous episode that I feel like this this may last a while for some of these episodes. So I'm trying my best to, to see what I can accomplish in this one before uh, attempting to like do some like maybe live stream stuff in the future for this. Trail blazer <laughs> should pull it up hey there he is cool right, let's put him back he does not look like the same person 6 one 190 brown and black hair yeah that's not the same person at all it's a little weird oops all right come visit my pop's bakery he works his butt off and his crap tastes good <laughs> Uh, tired of freelancing, hit me up if anyone's looking for a contract or full-time programmer or whatever. Patch made half of these. Pops the other. Come make them happy and buy some bread. I promise it all tastes as good as it looks. Dude, I love bread. I love me some bread. Okay, my computer got disconnected. Hello? Somebody in my house? Somebody in my house? Is somebody in my house? Is this light gonna be off again? Close that up. Let's hit this. <sighs> the stress levels are off the charts. And green. Wonderful. We're doing well. We're doing swell. I have not heard any jingle jiggling of the door handles. No knocks on the window. Nothing crazy yet. Um, let's try just Charlie Constanzo. We'll pull up multiples if we do that. Hmm. Interesting. Pull up, um, get rid of this. Just search him. Nothing. Okay. Pull him into the police records. I, I still need to read this. I know the guy from Reform. He goes by Trailblazer Online. Probably one of the best hackers in the game, and I'm not saying that as a joke. Guy's broken into all kinds of systems. Don't think there's something he can't break into. He's just that good. No one likes him on the forum, but he's respected. I hack too, but I'm nowhere near his leak. Regardless, he asked on the forums the other day if anyone wanted to team up to practice. I should get some rest. I made it. <laughs> okay, cool. So my time ran out for the day. Which is normal. That should happen. Okay. Light is still on in the bathroom. 
Wonderful. Is there anything I can interact with in here? Is there anything weird? Can I use the toilet? Get some toilet paper, get some nice bath. Things. Oh, it's pitch black in my, oh, in my house. Why is my house pitch black? Okay, I'm gonna turn on the lights, close all the windows real quick. Oh, 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 that shadow scared me. Why did that shadow scare me so much? Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate my house. I hate my house. Who wants to live here? Who wants to live here? You got faulty everything. Oh, I don't like that dark house. Oh, I don't like this dark room. Oh, that window's open too. Why are all the windows open? <laughs> okay, let's close these. All right, I gotta turn on the lights in the living room and the kitchen. Oh, okay. All right, turn on these lights. I like how you can see outside. That's nice at least. I'll close those windows in a second. You know, I just gotta do some things. Oh, okay, thank goodness. If anyone's afraid of the dark and also afraid of people coming to kill you, this is the ultimate nightmare of a game. <laughs> okay, that's all locked up. That's great. Now let's close these windows and lock them. Why are they all open? Who decided that it was a good idea to open these up when I'm trying to sleep? Okay, locked up. Good to go. Back at the computer. Let's pull these all up again. Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to pull the camera up. That's fine, though. May as well check. No, we're fine. Okay, let's... Dang it. <laughs> I gotta move this now. Uh, let's see. What kind of coinage can we get right now? Uh, instant root kit crack. That's literally it. Um, I'm not gonna worry about buying anything now. I've only got 15 DOS coin. So, it's cool. It's cool. Suspicious person report. Nina Winter. All right, let's, let's punch in her details. Female, unknown, height, uh, un hair is brown. We've got 20 to 25, 20 to 25, unknown weights, and eyes are hazel. Interesting. All right, Nina Winter, where are you at? Shwoop. Nina Winter, there she is. No alias, good to know. Let's just pull up the data here. Winter. <laughs> no, it is winter. All right, Nina Martin. Oh, Nina Martin. No results found. A good family friend of mine is in college. She recently came back for her break and she brought back all her stuff as well. Her little cousin is 12 years old and borrowed her USB stick that she brought back to use in a school project. To his horror, there were photos of dead bodies in a room. And he came and told me after stressing out about it for three days. I haven't seen the photo, so I can't be sure of it myself because her cousin gave it back to her already. To the best of my knowledge, she doesn't know that we know, and her cousin is genuinely scared crapless. Please help sort this out. I don't want her leaving again for college with this on my mind. What does that owl mean? Apparently I can catch Smiley Guy in the act of running around my backyard. And if I flash him with the light. Oh. Oh. If I flash him with the light, he'll run away. Okay, that's good. That's good, that's good. Okay, that one's locked. Wonderful. Why is this so frightening? Why is this so scary? Now I have to check every freaking door, every freaking room. <laughs> okay, we're fine, we're fine, we are fine. I just gotta keep an eye out, see if any of these guys are gonna be coming for me. All right, Nina Winter, let's, let's look up some more of her data. No social spy, any police records? I doubt it, that's what I thought, debit card. She went to Dargit, <laughs> Victorian chair, wonderful. Fill and go, gas stop, phone charger, pretty standard. Let's check her phone. This is the only other place something could be. Um, obviously, there's probably gonna be dead bodies in her phone. She wouldn't be that stupid though, would she? I guess we'll find out. One and two, done. The crack is not that hard once you figure it out. All right, search history. Ah, realistic skull props, plane tickets, free drama scripts online, how to make realistic dead body makeup. 
and chemistry. Pictures. Ah, oh, just a wonderful family <laughs> with watermelon. Hey, can I keep the prop bodies at your house for a few weeks? I'll be off to home this weekend. Of course, bring it to my place anytime tomorrow. Have fun and enjoy yourself. Thank you, baby. Easy. Done. <laughs> no need to worry about this one. Let's shred it. Yay. Cool. Okay, I thought I heard something. Let's check. Let's check. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I haven't heard anything in a while, actually. Let's get back on the computer. Let's pull up the next file. I need to get seven to go to bed automatically, three just to have the f this fulfilled. Teresa Hayes. All right, let's pull up Teresa. Female. Unknown height, age, and weight. Hair is red. And eyes are brown. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard to find Teresa Hayes in that. Only one. Cool. Cool. All right, Teresa, you have no alias. Let's see what kind of scoop we can get on you. Also, what does the plane mean? What does the plane... Some weird noises going on. Was there someone out there? I thought I saw someone out there. I need to check the other rooms though. It's guaranteed one of these is out already. Oh, oh yep, 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 yep. It's just instant stress. Instant stress when the lights are off. Okay, okay, we're still moving. We're still moving. All right, sweet. <laughs> All right, Teresa, what do you got? What's what's the, what's the deal here? So at about 3.30 today, I saw someone in H... Are you kidding? My computer just disconnected. Get out of my way, couch. <laughs> I'm trying to solve mysteries. I'm the best detective this world has ever seen. Everybody get out of my way. Okay, closed. We're... Resetting this. It's dark and spooky. I'm trying to listen. I feel like I talk too much in this game. And it makes me hit, miss potential sounds. Miss. All right, computer's reconnected. And it feels so good. Okay. I saw someone in H. Feynman's jewelry outlet that looked like my old friend from high school, Teresa Hayes. I wanted to say hi, but I saw she was busy talking to one of the people there. She was trying on a big fancy looking ring. Diamonds on the band. The whole nine yards. Anyway, I overheard her saying that the ring was too small, and the saleswoman went back, uh, went into the back to get a ring sizer. I could have sworn I saw Teresa swap the ring with another one she had on her. When the saleswoman came back with the sizer, she played along, but ended up leaving without buying anything. I saw the woman who worked there put away what she, what I think was the fake ring. I walked out after Teresa to talk. We stood outside the store for about five minutes and then went on our ways. Surely, if you just stole something from a store, wouldn't you just wait around the scene of the crime to get caught, right? Oh, that's what they want you to think. All right, let's see what kind of stories she has. I don't need my man to buy me a diamond. It just means he's bad with money. If a man works hard to save for a rainy day, then he's the man for me. Shower thoughts. Hashtag diamonds are worth less anyway. Hashtag look it up. It's all a monopoly. <laughs> uh, Teresa Hayes. That was a few weeks prior. Should I make Tex-Mex tonight or bake some salmon and tortellini? Hit me up with some recipes. I'll cook them live on my feed for you hungry heroes. <laughs> Made my way to the movie theater to see Solpugu. Solpugid? There's some... This is a common theme in this game. I have no idea what this fake movie is, but it's so hard to pronounce. Hope it's half the cinematic masterpiece I've heard it to be. Hashtag the something movie. <laughs> okay, nothing much there. I mean, I guess I'll put that as counter evidence. Um, Teresa Hayes, what else you got? What else do you have here? 
Ah, police report. Responding report of shoplifting at Pesco Supermarket. Suspect Teresa Hayes was caught on security camera hiding redeemable gift cards and a small bottle of gin in her handbag before attempting to leave the supermarket. She was intercepted by security due to the shoplifting of alcohol by a minor. She was remanded into police custody and her parents were contacted. She was later released with all charges dropped. Hmm. Interesting. That was 2014. Um, let me check... What do you got in your debit? Two adult tickets. Gruber a trip. Three dollar tip. And large popcorn and soda. Wait, what's the other thing? Cream poppets and hot nachos. I'm, I'm liking her style. Okay, Teresa, what's in your what's in your phone? I need to know. Oh! I've waited way too long before I've checked the cameras or anything around me. Oh. This game is truly terrifying. This game, this game is terrifying. Oh, night two. Night two is awful. I need to wait. I need to look around more for night two. I was way too involved in that story. I was way too involved with that case. My heart, <laughs> my heart is bounding. <laughs> oh, I expected the strangler of all things. I was a hundred percent, a hundred percent not expecting that. That got me the best you can ever get on a jump scare. Okay, let's lock this one. All right, I'm gonna blow through these initial reports. These reports are going down. You're gonna wish you had reports like I have. Okay, this one's closed. So let's lock it. This one's open. Let's close it and lock it. Jeez. All right, back into the computer. Let's start this again. Oh my goodness. All right, police reports. I'm going to put the debit above police. Put the SIM database there. Put social spy here. Root kit can go there. That's fine. DMV here. <laughs> oh, this can be so bad. <laughs> Diane Frazier. I think my neighbor is abusing her dog. I hardly see her walking it. Usually her nephew William comes by to walk it. The dog's name is Bruno. He's some sort of terrier or spaniel or something. Sometimes you hear the dog howling at night. Sometimes for hours at a time. It sounds very much like it's scared or in pain. I love dogs and I know it'd just kill me if I stood by and let a cruel and heartless owner potentially harm one. All right, let's pull up her information. Female unknown 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 brown and uh blonde and hazel easy there's only so many blonde hazel females in the world apparently and it's diane frazier and audrey grondon all right diane you look like you are a nice woman there's no presumptions here <laughs> let's check your social spy <laughs> let's spy on you Diane and Fraser. Just in case. Just in case. Just in case. No results found. No social networks. That's fine. That's a okay. She's 57. I don't know if she needs a social network. Just kidding. Anyone can have a social network. I'm so judgmental in this game. But these are fake AI generated people. So it's cool. Uh, caffeine tablets, instant coffee, large dog bed, dog treats, doggy blanket, hot water bottle, teddy toy, oh. emergency vet, ah, amitriptyline, low dosage. So obviously something's going on with the doggy, the doggy dog dog. Let's put that in the evidence. 
but it doesn't seem like she's the one doing anything to the dog. Sounds like the dog might be sick. Oh, crap. That was a mistake. Let's pull up her sim. Boom, bam, boom, blow. Let's connect it. Let's do the thing. I'm trying to be a little bit quieter in my voice as well. So I can actually see what's going on. Oh, look at that pup. Oh, look at that pup. Oh, look at those pups. All right, pup's going in. You know what? That's really all I need to see about this. TV schedule, Great Wild, Tommy the Great Wild. Who wins the Great Wild? Can dogs have bad dreams? Can dogs have nightmares? Oh, the dog has nightmares. That's why. Uh, dog night terrors. Aw. Okay. Let's do the dog night terrors. Close that up. Let's shred it. She's a nice person. She's trying to take care of her dog. Yay. Cool. Next one. Unknown. Let's check around. I swear, if they're already here and coming to strangle me, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> okay. Open the door. Fine. Open the door. Fine. There's a still a toilet. There's still a shower. Open the door. Fine. Open the door. We're fine. Great. I'm a spooked. I am a spooked. Let's keep it moving. I'm glad I'm learning more as I play through this. That's the one thing that's great. All right, so we've got a male, six foot, as well as brown hair, 50 to 55, 50 to 55, 150 pounds. Let's do a general, eh, let's do exactly, see what pulls up. 150 is hazel eyes. Okay, searching. Hopefully there's only one. There is. It's Leon Cota. Uh, let's see what information you have for us. The school district's been limiting itself to, like, one photography company for a few years now. There's a photographer on their roster that's been acting strange around the kids, though. Don't know his name, but he's an older man. Tall. Kind of has, uh, like, light brown eyes or something. Picture day just went down at the local elementary school, and the guy just kept touching the kids, making weird comments, smiling a little too much little too hard the other teachers agreed with me this guy can't be good we've mentioned it in uh, to his company already but beyond telling us he's among their best they're moving slower than a snail i have a little doubt that this guy uses his job as a way to get to kids and for everyone's sake we need him gone sooner or later i'm just gonna do some preemptive checks on these I'll just get up every once in a while look around make sure everything looks fine lights are still on always a good sign all right, Leon Coda, what do you got for us, Leon Coda? Are you a professional businessman who runs a photography show, or are you a child predator? We will find out soon enough. Okay, you got nothing on you, apparently. <laughs> Does have a debit, debit card. Sahara.com. Memory card for the camera, I would assume. Uh, Zony B2 camera refurbished. Okay, that's for his camera business. This was purchased... 2017, four, six. Okay, seems fine. Buy a camera and a memory card. That's very suspicious. <laughs> but I'm sure we're gonna find some very odd, strange things in his phone, the most private part of him. So let's find it. Crack it. All right, Leon, what do you got for us? Coworker and husband. Ah, oh. Leon, you might be in hot water. Well, that doesn't sound good. What is it? Just past the boss's office, he was talking about a complaint he received about your behavior at a recent shoot. One of the teachers must be raising a stink. I had a feeling. You were there. You saw how they kept eyeing me every time I fixed a kid's hair or something. Oh, yeah, absolutely. These teachers are just the next level. Level suspicious. Dang it. So I wouldn't worry too much. Frankie likes you a lot. Yeah, no worries. Just concerned. Not concerned, just frustrated. Okay, my Wi-Fi went out. Let's check all the doors. Per usual. Locked. Okay, it's still locked. Wonderful. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, close that up. Hit the thing. <laughs> it's so stressful. <laughs> okay, okay. And good. Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. I hate this place. Oh! What? <laughs> 
What do I do? <laughs> He's in my little room. What do I even do here? Do I just get back on the computer? Is he gonna come out of the door the second I get on the computer? <laughs> Sir? Just tell me you're nice and cozy in there. I don't wanna hear a peep. I don't wanna hear a peep out of you. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna continue on with my work and I'm just gonna pretend like you're not there. I'm gonna pretend like you're not there. Oh, I'm so gonna die. I am so gonna die. He's fine, I'm gonna shred it. And we were right. Let's see what the next one is. I'm just gonna read it. I'm Zach's brother. I got word from her mother that stops answering his phones with sending her call straight to voicemail. You know what? I'm dead anyway. Let's shred it. Oh, I got that one wrong. All right. I'm going to automatically go to bed if I get this wrong. Or right. Let's find out. Finally, I can get to bed early for once. How am I still alive? <laughs> oh, where is he? Where is he? He's still in my house. <laughs> He's still in my house. What am I supposed to do? Hello? Oh, of course the windows are all open. Close that window. No, don't open it, close it. <laughs> uh, is that the actual? Play? Come on, open it! Oh, it's dark. Oh, turn on the light, man. Okay, that one's locked, I guess. Is that what you're actually supposed to do? You're supposed to just ignore him? He's still probably in. Okay, we got the owls hooting. I have to try it. He's gone. <laughs> Where did he go? Why is he still in my house? I mean, we figured it out, I guess. I don't know if we're supposed to like, a hundred percent, like ignore him. Is that what's actually supposed to happen? Okay, that's locked now. Oh, this is terrifying. <laughs> oh man, I kind of wish I didn't just Oh, so my thumbs down stay there. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. All right, camera time. Nothing suspicious out here, I see. Luis Espinoza. I have reason to believe that Luis attempted to take some unwarranted photographs of my wife when I was out of town on business. He helped us set up a security system about two months ago and my wife checked the cameras and found them zoomed in on various parts of the house. She checked the recording and said she could see some of the cameras tracking her. No one should have access to the cameras other than my family. When I came back, the footage was deleted from my DVR. I don't have anything to go on other than the word of my wife, but I don't see why she'd have any reason to lie to me. Hmm. All right, let's figure out what's going on with Luis Espinoza. Uh, age, unknown. Uh, height, unknown, weight, unknown. Gender, male. Black hair, easy. He's lies, done. Search it up, let's find Luis. Luis or Luis? One of the two. Boom, no alias. Let's look him up. Luis Espinoza. Uh-oh. Nothing found, apparently. <laughs> I'm like pre-flinching every time I hear a sound and then get up out of my computer now. I may as well check. I may as well check. I need to be the best prepared for this as possible. <laughs> Okay, we good. We are good. We are good.
Okay. All right, Lewis. You had no social spy. Let's see about your police records. What if she? What if they're just having an affair? Him and his wife. <laughs> I have a feeling that might be it. Target bananas. Desbani Greek yogurt, vanilla, tropical fruit, frozen peak, peak, uh, peak strong spinach, Debbie Lee New York style cheesecake. Ooh, I love cheesecake. Circuitry, uh, security camera, wireless, of course, of course. All right, and let's check your phone because nothing suspicious as of yet. We just know that you've purchased a camera. Let's connect it up, let's see what we find. Airplane, I don't know what the airplane means still. Nothing, nothing. All right, Lewis, what do you got for us? Can I move the curtains? Can I, like, scooch these over? That would be so nice. I mean, I really don't want to see outside the windows, but it'd be nice if I could kind of see what I'm expecting. Nothing. Nothing. I hate that picture. Nothing, and... Nothing. Wonderful. How much do you want to bet that my computer's connection is going to be gone the second I get on the computer? It's good for now. See how long that lasts. Search history. Uh, leaky shower, local updates, daily weather, flower gram, engraving jewelry, five-star restaurants near me. Pictures. A woman's legs. Some work. Some more work. Paint. And more work. Okay, seems fine. Let's check the text conversations. Cat. Hello, my love. Hope your day is going well. Lewis, I told you to stop texting me. I was drunk. It never should have happened. You say that now, but your body was saying different the other night. Ooh, it's a little creepy. I'm married, Lewis. My days of messing around with boys are behind me. I knew it. I called it. I called it. I'm sorry that you think I'm playing hard to get or something. My husband is coming back tomorrow. Okay, yeah. this That's an easy one. That is actually true. Might be spying. Might be spying. Let's go ahead and file this one. Blah, 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 blah. Hooray! Okay. Cool. We got a good report. We got a good report. Rachel Green is next. Check the cameras. I don't see a van. Why do I hear a van? <laughs> okay. I gotta take my rounds. I think this is just... A mechanic that we have to look at with the game. Okay. Could have sworn I saw something moving outside the window. <laughs> I can't believe he didn't kill me. I still can't believe he didn't kill me. Okay, let's figure it out. What do we got? What do we got? I got one out of three down. Great. Rachel Green. Let's go. Female. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. Brown and green. Brown and Green. Search it. Rachel Green, where you at? There she is. Female 31, no alias. Done and done. Is it, oh, it's a Rachel without an A. <laughs> and Green with an E! <laughs> How strange. Okay, I don't think it's appropriate to sunbathe in your backyard with little clothing on when you willingly know some young teenage boys live around you. Going to a tanning salon is relatively cheap and can be done much faster than putting yourself on display for the neighborhood youth. I think it's disgusting that someone that old is trying to get the attention of a couple young boys. Okay, at this point, literally just darkness is scaring me now. Come on, come on, come on. Why does the darkness scare me? Okay, we're locked. We're still locked. Still locked up. This game is going to get so hard towards the end. This game is going to get so hard. Because we're going to have to fill out even more reports with less time. Or with the same amount of time. I'm already almost barely making this time limit. Unless I'm getting like just a A plus, super easy to decipher one. Okay, I don't think it's appropriate. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we know this. Rachel Green, did you have anything social spy? I don't think so. Yeah, no, nothing. No, not Lewis. Dang it, that's not what I meant. Okay, Rachel, what do you got for us? No police records. Let me guess. Tanning, 
equipment for the debit card. No reports on that either. That's a little strange, actually. She's 30 years old and doesn't have a debit card. Huh. R-A. Oh! <laughs> Darn the Rachel without an E. Without an A. I spelled it wrong. That's why. <laughs> I'm the dumb one here. Ah. Check out my page on Only Admirers. Made a 50% discount for everyone that signs up before Dare Day on June 1st. Come quick and you'll get something special, winky face. Finally getting warmer out. You girls finally going to get rid of this. Uh, your girls finally going to get rid of this. So I... Uh, this I so pale look lol. What? <laughs> that sentence made no sense. Um, I mean, I guess that's evidence. You know, that's fine. So she's got an Only Admirers account. No police records. Let's check your debit real quick. Now that I've got the real name. Pleasure Palace. Yeah, Sun, sun Tanning Kit. I knew it. Okay. <laughs> I hate this. Okay, windows are still closed. Windows still closed. Let's check these rooms real quick. Make sure we're all good. We're fine. We're oh! How did you get my house? How did you get my house? None of the doors are open. <laughs> How did you get in my house? Why did you turn the light off? Oh, I hate you. I hate you. I can't do anything about it either. All right, what did she buy at Pleasure Palace? Sunless bronze or baby smooth shaving gel. Purple jeweled bracelet, three-piece set. Sunbathing mask. She's just sunbathing. She's not doing anything crazy. You know? You know? You know what I mean? She's just a normal person. She's just a 30-year-old only admirers account holder. Just... Getting all tanned up for her, for her count, you know? It's just, it's just normal time. We're just having a grand old time here. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm messing up. All right, Rachel, what do you got? I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Amber K. Did you send the application to only admirers? <laughs> yeah, I think I might have messed something up in it, though. It's been a week and they didn't email me back. Just wait. They will definitely accept it. They just need to get... Uh, your email it took me about a week too, and that was before everyone was hopping all over this thing like it was free money. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. You're still in my room. <laughs> I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. He's gonna be outside the door when I open it. He's gonna be outside the door when I open it. He's gonna be outside this door when I open it. Hey buddy. Are you here? Are you still in my closet? It's, it's midnight. Just wait, they'll definitely accept it. Oh, fine. What should I do once they accept me? Make sure you have stuff ready to post. I'll let a couple of my girls know you that you're new and they'll help promote your page after you make your first post. Take time to make something unique that people will really appreciate. Oh, and try to find a gimmick like art or writing that takes creative input. Your fans will like that. What do you mean gimmick? Do you think my stuff is not cool? Like don't go post a snippet of something not finished yet or any of your old stuff. Make sure it's something new and it's something different. Wait, so how, how much content should I be putting behind a paywall then? Make this sure. Make the sure the really good, the <laughs> make the sure the really deep complex stuff is saved for your best admirers. Use the bland crap for everyone else. Law and set a date to show off any of your work in progress. And you can start promoting it a ton like a week before. Get your socials. Da, 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 da. Okay, thanks so much. I love you. Um, pick up.
pictures. Look at her sunbathing. <laughs> Look at the power plant. <laughs> How beautiful. Got a nice bar of soap, and we got this here. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong. Only matters. Tips for success. Shout out. Shout for shout. Only admirers. Romance novel ideas. Plot for historical romance. All right, what, what did I even pick here? I think we're fine. We're just going to shred this. Doesn't seem like it's going to be anything. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not really anything that we need to worry about. Mini how. All right, here we're gonna we're gonna die here. Just wait for it. 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 Got an airplane flying overhead. Both of those windows are still closed. He is still in my closet. He is still in my closet. I don't understand it. I don't understand. This lights off in here. It's not. Light us off in here? It's not. Da, 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 da. I'm just gonna ignore that door. <laughs> All right, mini how? There's the crotch door opening. That like sound. I don't know where that's coming from. All right, I feel wrong doing this. Honestly, I know Miss How works tirelessly to take care of her. I'm dead. Something opened. Something opened. Something opened. Something opened. Sir, get out of my closet, please. Oh, I'm so dead. That one's locked, yeah. Oh, I'm so dead. Am I supposed to hide? What am I supposed to do? Who's in the bathroom? I don't understand this. I don't understand. Is he still in there? I really want to open it and check. I really want to open it and check, but I really don't want to at the same time. Uh, I know Miss How works tirelessly to take care of her sick father and all, but lately she's been acting a, tough, a touch strange. Maybe it's the stress of it all. Who knows? Her father used to hire some of the neighborhood boys to mow the lawn since he couldn't lousy back at all, right? on these cameras that's another question i need help i need help i need as much help as i can get <sighs> miss howe decided to continue the tradition it seems she works as a florist you see prettiest flowers in the neighborhood the first boy she hired was my son nicholas nico went over moved mowed the lawn and accidentally stepped on one of her flower beds honest accident my nico would never be a malicious on purpose Miss Howe had been watching him, and when he stepped on the flower bed, he told me it was like she flew right next to him. Her face changed to something truly evil, he said, and for a second he thought she was going to hurt him with her garden shears. She said he wasn't the first she'd hurt, but before she could attack, he ran off. My poor baby ran home crying. I mean, that has to warrant some investigation, right? Not only did she threaten to hurt my son, but she's hurt other boys before. She's always been a real sweetheart, but never knows she has a touch. Oh, everyone knows she has a touchy temper. Interesting. Okay, Minnie, you are female. Unknown except for your hair, eyes, and age. All brown on here. Age is 20 to 25. I'm dead. I'm already dead. I don't know why I'm continuing to do this. I'm just trying my best, you know? I'm just trying my best. Minihow. Oh, hey, Minihow. Not what I expected you to look at, like, to be honest. But that's okay. Sometimes we have expectations of people that are not realistic. Mini. How? Hoff? How? I don't know. We'll find out. I mean, we won't find out because there's no way for me to look up how to pronounce her name. <laughs> All right, did I spell that right as well? I know the second I get off my computer here. I know the second I get off my computer, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. But I'm gonna try it. Are you still in my closet, man? Get out of my closet. Okay, back to the desk. I'm just doing my best now at this point. All-purpose in-ground mat, soil bags, potting trap. Who's got the van? Who's got the van? This game's awful to play at the middle of the night. Family pharmacy. Prescription for D and M. How or Hoff? Okay. Sahara Inc. Outdoor frame lights, garden gnome. Nothing suspicious here. Nothing suspicious here. 
All right, Mini, what do you got? What do you got? Let's connect this. Got it. Got it. All right, Mini. What do you got for us? Guarding tools, raised daisies, elders, bipolar disorder treatment, magnolias, pictures, oh, old man and some flowers, text compass, Ursula caretaker. I mean, he's not going to be popping up since he's in my house. <laughs> Why do I even bother? Hi, Minnie. I'm Ursula. Saw your posting on Tom's list and figured I'd apply. I have 10 years experience of caring for the elderly and can work as many hours. <sighs> I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> this is so stressful. It probably doesn't look very stressful. Oh boy, but I am stressed. Ain't nobody coming to my bedroom. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody. <laughs> I'm trying my best here. I'm trying my best. I really want to open the door. I really, really want to open the door. <sighs> okay, let's go back. I feel wrong. Okay, yeah, we already know this. Hi, Minnie. I'm Ursula. <clears throat> I got one hour. I got one hour to get one more of these done correctly. I'm Ursula. Saw you're posting on Tom's. Figure. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Uh, just send me your email. Hi, Ursula. Thanks for the text, but I think I've changed my mind and decided to take care of my father myself. Best of luck. Okay. Miss Co Kovac, what did you think you were doing? Threatening my son. Who do you think you are? I apologize if your son... But your son purposely stepped on my flower patch. I simply told him to step off. If he told you anything else, he's lying. You're calling my son a liar? You're psychotic. One more misstep and I'll report you to the neighborhood watch. Well, I'm in the back. I'm in the right here, and we both know it. Just go ahead and waste your time. Okay. Davey. Wow. Did you hear the news? Congrats, cutie. What news? You won the award for best garden in the community. Just read it in the newspaper. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting that. Judges came by weeks ago. Thought they'd forgotten all about me. Ha, ha, ha. They mentioned something about your sick dad. The newspaper surely stir up some public sympathy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she seems... She seems fine. I'm gonna put Miss Novak here. I'm gonna close this, and I'm gonna shred it. We got it right. We got three out of three, and we just need to wait until four in the morning until we get to night three. Or I can complete four more to go to bed immediately, which that's not gonna happen. Everybody, everybody knows that's not gonna happen. Male, everything unknown but the hair and eyes, both brown. Sergi, Sergi, oh Sergi, Sergi, there you are. Hi Sergi. I really want to survive this. I really want to survive this. <gasps> trying so hard. <laughs> I knew something was going to happen and it still got me. <sighs> <laughs> oh no. Is there new is there new stuff that he added in that the develop that the dev added in? I just want to check just to make sure. Oh. That was the most stressful episode by far. I hope people please support it. Yes, I know, I know. Oh my gosh. Ugh. <laughs> oh, that was, that was awful. Yeah, that, that's all I need to know about the game. I mean, I could try... I may do some of these other ones for... No, I really want to try to beat this on normal. Um, no threats. Seven nights total. Just want to solve cases. Casual. No permadeath. 
five nights total. Hmm. So if you die, you just, I guess, respawn in the last level that you're in. And detective. I want to I see what nice Nightmare is all about. That one is probably insanely terrible. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. If you all enjoyed this particular playthrough, let me know by hitting the like button. Uh, please, oh please, give me some solid comments here to let me know exactly what I need to do with this game. Um, <laughs> I can't figure it out. There's so many weird things. Where does it... Where? I don't know, the doctor, whatever you want to call him. I don't know. He, is he the blue blood killer? We have no idea. Um, I don't know how to escape him. I don't even know the signs of the kidnapper. So many things. So many things we can't figure out already. And if you're just now coming to this channel and you have not yet subscribed, consider doing so. Um, my speech is awful right now. Consider doing so and hit the bell notification. That way you know exactly when I'm uploading videos. But as always, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Later.